Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome professional driver and media personality, Justin Bell. Quite wonderful world of retirement. Well, as always, it's amazing to be back here at the Quail, see so many familiar faces, and of course, love in our shared passion for the automobile. Um, now, as you can see up on the stage here, I have this amazing MSO Archura. We have the 765 LT Spider over to the left, uh, but we're really here today for a global reveal of a very special McLaren. And when I say that, it's a McLaren unlike any other, I don't think I'm going to the mic, um, unlike any other ever produced. Now, in order to uh, reveal this car, I think it's important to bring up someone who is very responsible for this project. And uh, it is CEO of McLaren Automotive, Mr. Michael Lighty. Thank you, Justin. Thank you, Justin. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, the name McLaren is famous in elite motorsports, and we are renowned to push the borders of performance and technology, technologies. And all that is based on the vision of our founder, Bruce McLaren. Almost 60 years ago, he had a vision. He wanted to make the impossible possible. And this is exactly the story of this car. We have done something nobody else before has done. And the story of this car starts in 2017, when we decided with our partner Sony to create a car for video gaming. The car was called McLaren Ultimate Vision GT. And it was the imagination of the future track car. And this car has been driven by several millions of people, but always in a digital world. And we transfer now this digital car in a real car, which nobody else has done before. And this car is the intersection of fantasy and reality. And reality is stunning. The weight, 1,000 kilograms. The downforce, 1,200 kilograms. The powertrain, a V10 natural aspirated engine with an accelerating sound and revs up to 10,000 RPM. This car will have the best power weight ratio ever on a McLaren car. This car will set lap time records never seen on a McLaren car outside Formula 1. No surprise. Car, exciting like that, we are sold out. We are now in the process with our customers to make these 25 cars we will produce very bespoke, very unique for our customers to make pieces of art of this car. But there's another specialty on this car, and this is a driver position. We are seated in this car like a jet pilot. It's a single-seater, and this single-seater concept led us also to the name of this car. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome with me the new McLaren Solus GT. Coming into Pebble Beach Week, uh, Monterey Car Week, no one really knew this was happening, Michael. As a driver, and I'm sure everyone looking at it, will it drive like a Formula One car? Almost, let me say. I said yeah. uh, the performance will be in the in, uh, almost of the Formula One um, um, region. Um, but what is very special is really the seating position. And if you drive this car, you are so connected with the car, 
um, the car engages you, the sound of the car and this central position of the car of the of the driver is really particular and it's a it's a challenging car but also a, a car which rewards you as a driver. So obviously when we look at the design it is a monocoque it, you know with all the suspension and everything aerodynamics outside it. When you took a, a philosophical, a theoretical, imaginative car with with the Gran Turismo and turned it into a real car, what were the challenges? I mean if you do it only in the digital world, you're totally free, you can do whatever you want. And to maintain the design of this car and on the same uh, um, uh, in the same way then you have to make it safe. You have to integrate the powertrain, um, um, to integrate this um, um, seating position. This is a real challenge we had to do. And uh, anyway, um, this car, uh, to make it reliable and, and so engaging as it is, uh, was a real challenge for our engineers. You've mentioned some still testing the car. And I think the main thing is not high speed. The main thing is how quick you can go in curves. To in turns, and the g-forces will be really, really uh, impressive on this car. So, I mean, last question would be: when you take with all McLaren's engineering sort of brilliance and racing know-how, but when you turn something that really could be created without any restrictions, right, yeah. in a video game, how? What were the challenges turning it into uh, an actual physical road, uh, race car? So, um, safety is an issue because the customer has to be, or the driver has to be safe in this car. To integrate a powertrain, which is so, um, from an NVH point of view, so, um, so, so important and so uh, challenging. So, a lot of things to, to make this car really happen. And finally, what's it like for you, just on a personal level, you've been leading this you know, design team, I know it's a huge team of people to make these cars, so what's it like for you sitting, standing here at Quail, seeing everyone finally see it? Very exciting, a very special moment. Um, but I am thinking already on the next moment when we um, give this car to our customers and they go on a trek and they try and they try and test the car. They get out of the car and they smile like kids. That's the most exciting moment for somebody who's responsible for a car like this. Well, thank you very much, Michael. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I've got to say, Probably on behalf of every one of us here, uh, I'm pretty envious of the 25 lucky, very fortunate customers that will get to drive these cars, customize them in so many ways, and get to drive them. Uh, remember that this is just another step in the history of McLaren. It is an extraordinary company that continues to push the boundaries. So while we're drawing to the end of the presentation, I urge you to, to get up close, look at it, talk to Michael, talk to the rest of the team. But we do have, a, in a sea of very important, famous people, we have a, a legend here, Kazunori Yamauchi, the legendary creator, not just say, uh, uh, the legendary creator of Gran Turismo, the, responsive, the man responsible for thousands of our hours on video games. That is him there. Uh, so it's a real pleasure to have him here. Guys, thanks for being a part of the story of McLaren. Enjoy the rest of your time at Quail. And here's a little bit more of that video to see the car in action. Enjoy your day, everyone. Thank you.
Make up.